Well, good day, everyone. I spent some time going over a modern day prophet, a so called modern day prophet's prophetic words that she, uh, that she received over the last few years. It's Wendy from Urgent Words from the Lord. And um, I spent a lot of time doing it. Probably too much time, but uh, buried in there, there was a lot of information that I wanted to just share share with you guys tonight. So, Amos 3.7. For the Lord does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, to prophets. The lion has roared, who will fear? The Lord has spoken, who can prophesy? So the question is really, is... Is Wendy just, is she a fraud? Is she a fake? Does a woman spend 12 hours a day in prayer? More than that, probably. Putting up two and four prophetic words every evening, up all night, spending all this time typing it out. Um, this is just, you know, a typical prophetic word that she would do. And she would type the transcript. There is... There is so much effort into doing this, day after day after day for years. Nobody who's faking it does this. This is real. This is the Lord himself speaking to one of his prophets. And go, go through. If, if you don't know who she is, I mean, she's quit. She, the, the Lord has given her rest. She's not doing it like she was. She stopped, essentially. She's done. She did it, I don't know what, from... 2013 or 2014, I think there was a couple brief times where she she was hearing familiar spirits, had to go back and reset. You know, I'm not going to pass judgment, but when I started looking into this two years ago, I just, I didn't believe it at first. I went through and I, I tried to find things that weren't biblical and I couldn't. I, I couldn't. So, okay, so what did I do? I spent a lot of, this is a document I'll put up, it's 511 pages. This, somebody has put this together. I don't know who it was. Somebody was emailing this around a while back. It doesn't have every single one. It goes from uh, uh, 2014 to 2016, about two years worth of. So I searched this for rapture, rescue, darkness, trying to come up with what we could find out or what we could summarize. Um, what we could summarize. And so what did I put together a six-page document you can download it and I, I just put, took portions of prophetic words and I did my best it's hard these prophetic words are like a riddle the Lord just doesn't come out that's why I know it's real if somebody was faking this they would just say okay on day one you do this day two it's that day three it's this then we're gonna have it's not written that way when you read the this one prophetic word here on March 14th you have to read it and comb through it because it doesn't start off with everything happening in order. It, it goes back and forth. You have to go through. I've been through this thing for a few hours now trying to just put in order what these references mean. And um, it's take. I started this six months ago and I started it. I looked at it three. And just tonight I had the gumption to just spend two hours just going through it again. Okay, so let's jump to the chase. And before I jump to the chase too far, I put up a prophetic word yesterday about the, the dead in Christ dropping dead. And I ended that prophetic word with just something I've thrown together at the end. Possible order of events. It's possible. Based on warrior princesses three times three days and a, a rapture kitty uh, event timeline. And I know some people don't like rapture kitty. Frankly, I don't, I, I don't, know who she is I just heard that she had her son got a prophetic word where on day one there was a worldwide rapture a few days before that day one there were some departures translations and on day four um, there was fire and brimstone on day five there was USA nuked that's it I'm not taking anything other any other information and it just it laid into what my timeline already had so I'm not basing it off of Rapture Kitty's definite timeline I'm laying it in and showing you that it does kind of make sense so there's a lot there's some hate mail about that I don't know anything about her I don't know what she's done right or wrong I just know that she, her son had a vision or some sort of connection with Jesus so 
Don't, don't get uptight about that. That's not the basis of this of this estimate here. So let's let's go to the to another source, Wendy's sources, and just let's do the order of events. Okay. So when we go through the order of events with what Wendy has, this is what it falls out to be. And this is what surprised me the most. The first event that I could pull out of there, and I'm saying it's 144,000, enter through the narrow gore door. This is what she wrote. She wrote, Yeshua, Jesus, will be with you, with each one of you, guiding you as his guiding you as his path is getting to be the narrowest. Go through the enter through the narrow door for if you find it. It will be this entering along this path. That means Jesus is going to be walking with people. We're going to be actually hearing his voice in our ear. We, it won't be like, a, like how we pray now sometimes. We don't hear anything. We know he's listening, but we don't actually hear him responding back. He's not actively talking, at least not to me, at least yet. So at this point, we're, we're walking along a, guide, a, a path that gets narrow, the narrow as you walk. And this event will be before he sends for the great rescue. So the culminating, the, the first main event that uh, that Wendy had was something called the Great Rescue. This is that translation from Acts 2.17 now that he was talking about. This is the translation. The translation. So this thing with 144,000 going through a narrow door, it says, before I send the Lord Jesus for his great rescue, events are about to begin forth as the peace agreement to divide the land. So when the when the division of the land, we know that's coming in, a, in September, a week or two away. Trump's got people going over there. Kushner's got all his guys going over there. And they're going to finally figure this thing out. And Netanyahu's going to, I guess he's going to begrudgingly sign on to something. So when that goes down, it looks like this is when this guiding happens. Guiding happens by the Lord. Okay. Um, at some point, some great shaking will occur prior to and when this peace agreement is signed and some of this great shaking will occur before the great rescue according to Wendy's words. So the great rescue is the huge event and to be part of that you have to be completely 100% surrendered to Jesus and many and most folks aren't. We, we know that. I pray that I am. I pray that all you are. Anyway, so the Great Rescue is this huge event, this disappearance, this translation. This is that Isaiah 57 thing I was telling you about, verse 1 and 2. So this perishing of these guys could be going through the narrow door. That's Revelation 4.1. You know, John represents 144,000, maybe, and he's called up through a, narrow, through, through a door up into heaven for Revelation 4 and 5. All right. After the Great Rescue which could be that translation that I spoke of two videos ago. Some level of chaos and destruction must follow, causing the electricity to be turned off. Then the darkness darkness uh, commences right away. I, it, you can't get the dates, the days from, from Wendy's prophetic words. Now, rap, um, uh, Warrior Princess and a couple other ones have these three-day events, and Bond's blog, the three-day events. I was thinking the great rescue, then three days later, the darkness commences. There appears to be, according to Wendy, there appears to be two raptures during the three days of darkness. The word said, a rapture of the first fruits, barley, occurs during the climax of the birth pains, which I think is the darkness. She mentions darkness in another prophetic word. So it appears to be a rapture during the darkness and also during the darkness. The bride is going to be transformed, glorified. But it also says in Wendy's prophetic words that the Lord says, this is not the putting on of incorruption. This is not your this is not the eternal body. This is a sort of a midpoint of it, a halfway through or something, where you're shining and glorified, but you don't have an eternal body. You don't have a Superman body yet, it seems. So there so when the darkness begins, there's a rapture at the beginning. This could be what others think is this after three days we will be revived thing that I was talking about. Hosea 6 verses 1 through 3. The great rescue would be Hosea 5, 14 and 15. Then there appears to be a rapture after, right after the three days of darkness. 
And she mentions, Wendy mentions, or the Lord mentions, a rapture of the guests. And I've seen other prophetic words that say the guests, when they leave, they leave in natural bodies. They don't get glorified. But these are the ones where the 144,000 and the bride went out harvesting during the three days of darkness, inviting people to the wedding banquet, and the guests who accepted the invitation, they get to go to the wedding banquet and they leave. The lukewarm and the foolish, they're still scoffing at all of this. They, you know, they got their heads buried in the sand. They don't get to go at this. But the guests do. All right. After the rapture of the guests, after the three days of darkness, there's this time of trial I've spoken of, and it's Wendy makes a reference to it. The 40 days of testing, she makes a reference. She says that when the Lord presents himself to every person on the planet, there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Jesus himself. The Father will be right there. Those who already have accepted him prior to the meeting, they will be taking in either the great rescue or this, I think it's the three days, this rapture here, line six. They go right then and there. But her word from the Lord said, those who accept Jesus during this one-on-one -on -one meeting, that's basically Isaiah 17, 7, it's the same meeting in Isaiah 77, they have to hang around for 40 more days to be tested and tried. Now, part of the bride is left here. This is the confusion. The bride leaves at the great rescue. Some of the bride leaves at the rapture of the first fruits. Then some of the bride either comes back or stays. We don't know. This is where all this confusion comes from. So after the dark, after the 40 days of the testing of the lukewarm and the foolish, part of the bride is going to be rescued. And the, and the prophetic word said, at the end of the 40 days, the rapture of will occur of my son's bride, is what the word said, of his awaiting bride. Now, what I don't know, it doesn't specifically say that the lukewarm and the foolish are taken. I can only assume they are. Maybe they're not. I don't know. It doesn't mention it, but I would think that they would be if they, if they, that's right. Her, her other word did say that. I'm, I'm jumping back and forth here. We'll look at that word in a second. There is a word that says after the 40 days, those people are taken. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So this first prophetic word, I'm not going to go through every line. You guys can go through it and you can check this. You got to go through this thing with a fine tooth comb to get this. It took me two hours to do this. Nine lines. Okay. So this prophetic word talks about a great rescue. I'm making the you know, and it says, My children, if you miss the great rescue, I have messengers and prophets and prophetesses post instructions on the internet. Once the governments get the electricity back on, so after this great rescue, there's going to be something that's going to go down that's going to cause power to go up. I don't know what that is. If so, if you miss the great rescue, there'll be instructions because there's another rapture coming. If you come to me after my rapture, and I'm saying that during the darkness, when you look at some other prophetic words, you, you realize that. And he calls that his rapture. So the first one is this translation, great, this great rescue that, that's called here. Then it makes a reference to a rapture, my rapture. Now, another prophetic word by Wendy makes a reference to this rapture being the rapture of the first fruits. And then she mentions the rapture of the guests after the darkness. So you can see how the varying levels of faith dictate when you get raptured. Okay, uh, and then he makes a reference, if you come after I rapture my bride, this is the rapture of the bride, this is after the 40 days. So there's a my rapture here, then you see how confusing this is? <laughs> if you come after me after I rapture my bride at the end of the 40 days, you find that out down elsewhere. Okay, then there's more references to my great rescue. It goes back to the great rescue, and it looks like after the great rescue, the era of grace is closing up. Look here. The time for the rapture will be after and during the climax of the birth pains. That's two raptures in there. After and during. I, I had that covered in five and six, I think. I have many of my children thinking my great rescue is going to take place any day now. But no, the great rescue will take place until the appointed time after some of the great shaking occurs. These clues are just buried all over the place in here. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. My son will... Those who completely surrender to my son, they will be taken in my, in my son's rescue. Look, the people who have sold everything. That rich young ruler, people that have done what Jesus said. Take everything you have, 
sell it and give it all to the poor. Those people are the ones that are going to be taken. I don't know that I'm worthy. I don't know that I could do that. Could I cash in my 401k and just give it away? Maybe I should. I should. But I don't. I don't have enough faith to do that. Okay. Um, look here. Yeshua Steve will be guiding you as his path is getting to be narrowest. It will be before I send him for the great rescue. That's telling me that this is going through the narrow door. It happens before the great rescue, which is something that, believe it or not, I just kind of knew because of Joel 1 and Joel 2. Joel 1 is guiding through the narrowest, and Joel 2 is the great rescue. You know, those two, those two solemn assemblies. That's Revelation 4.1, right here, going through the narrow door. Enter through the narrow door, for few find it. Okay. Look what he says here. Um, he makes a reference to after I rapt you or rescue my true church. So the, rap, the rapture is after the rescue, and that's his true church. So it looks like the level of faithfulness between those who go through the great rescue and those who go through the rapture, he's deciding who goes through what. I don't know if the level of faithfulness decide that. Like I said before, I think the rescue, the translation, is for the Mary bride and for the folks that go in that rapture during the darkness. That's the, the Martha bride. That's the more rugged bride. Okay. If you don't go through those and you got to go into the 40 days, then you got to worry about the FEMA camps. But if you exit the 40 days and you come and you're refined, then you can go, it appears, with the awaiting bride at the end. All right, talks about a planet coming. You guys can read all that. I'm not, um, so this is another message. Soon you will be flying. Um, okay. All right. Uh, da, 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 I guess, yeah. At this point, you know, you can read this, guys. It's 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 just, I'm not going to go through all of it. Uh, okay, here. Here it is right here. A lot of questions about the timing of my three days of darkness have been asked. Father will tell you, the three days of darkness, it will be before the first barley rapture. So I, take it for what it is. It sounds like, I think I feel like that's going to be the first day of darkness. So darkness happens, and then this first barley rapture happens. And then at the end of the darkness is the guest rapture. Uh, oh, here's another one. Now, this gets a little confusing. Now, I, I don't have this figured. I have a sense that the day of the great rescue, the children go in the morning, and the adults go in later in the afternoon. I, that's what I get out of this. Now, read just what this says. I have many plans that have been revealed. When I'm going to take the innocent ones, I say they're the children and the mentally incapacitated. Are they going to be raptured at the same time as my son's bride? I tell you this year, two, not the same event. See, this he makes this reference to my son's bride. I feel like that's a reference to at the end of the 40 days. That's what I, whenever I see my son's bride, I, I feel like it's 40 at the end of the 40 days. I tell you these are not the same events. And that, that's, I think, what's being spoken of here. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so it looks like he is going to take the precious innocent ones who cannot take care of themselves to my heavenlies during the great storm that is rapidly approaching. Um, okay. This is where the, this, my faithful and my disobedient children. You got to look at that. Even the faithful are going to have their kids taken. But they're going to be reunited right here. So for the faithful and the true parents will be joined to them, but not the disobedient parents. they got to go through the 40 days. He refers to taking the little ones as a merciful act of sure, because all hell is going to break loose on earth. You don't want your little kids here for that. And look, the little children are taken on an early in the morning when the dark clouds come rolling in. That's a vision that she had. Um, okay, I, I can't keep track of all this. Okay, all right, so look at this one. So, um, when the mystery planet comes quickly, my son's bride will have a few hours left. This planet's going to wreak havoc on the earth. I think this, my son's bride, references at the end of the 40 days. This is in the November time frame. You know, if you're in September 23rd time, that's when the, then it says there's a second sign, the, the, the great red dragon standing in front of the woman. That's 
some you know Nibiru lined up in front of Virgo, and that's what that sign is. That's a sign in the sky. It's right what it's going to be. That's what I think that's going. So when that when you see that big huge red planet in the sky, that's when the end of the 40 days happens, and my son's bride is raptured at the end of the 40 days. Uh, makes references to Obama. This didn't make any sense when Obama, you know, when Trump got elected. But we all know now what Obama is. He's coming back. And it all makes perfect sense. Okay, here, right here. Look at this now. Soon and very soon, the, the door of the ark will close. This will be done when I send my three days of darkness. When I send my three days of darkness. So, then it makes a reference um, about the, your time of testing. So, the... The darkness seems to be right when the ark closes. And the darkness seems to be right after the rescue. The rescue, it seems like three days later, the darkness, that makes perfect sense. The darkness, the rescue will be on, on Bond's blog. That's the day that the, um, the cosmic event occurs. And it says within three days of the cosmic event, the great earthquake, and then the darkness happens. So Bond's blog is telling us that the great rescue is on the catastrophic event day in the sky. You know, the things colliding or whatever, the whole sky turning red. That's probably not the day that Nibiru was seen. This is another event. Then the darkness commences after three days because of the huge earthquake, or whatever it's the, the asteroid or what, I don't know. So so I'm, I'm not putting days between here. That was my other, I'm not, I don't wanna mix and match these, uh, these, these prophecy events, so I want to um, keep them lined up with the prophetic words that they're connected to. Okay. I think we're almost done. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, the, the appearance of the dark and large celestial body in your skies will block the sun's light on the earth. I don't know whether that's the darkness. When they sail peace and safety. Oh, this is the sign in the sky. Look up. This is the. This is from Lisa. Okay, this is a different prophetic, uh, different prophet. But it talks about the dazzling lights in the sky. Um, the 144,000 won't see this. They'll be gone before that. Um, I'm just trying to find if there's anything else left here worth mentioning. There's not. Okay, look. So you guys can download this document. I'll even put up the Wendy document if you want to go searching for yourself. And you know how to search in a PDF file. You just, you know, Control F. You just type in here what you want, boom, you look for it. That's how I did it. Um, and with that, guys, have a good day and a blessed evening. Good night.